Hey, this is Tony Ross with CreativeCal.net, and I'm going to be doing a little tutorial here based on a request I received on how do I get these little lines to be kind of drawn out and make it look like a marker's kind of writing things out for me. Um, so similar to the, if you look at uh, other tutorials I've done, it's similar to the pencil drawing line. It's just a way of doing some masking. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this, and uh, I'm going to actually write out a name here. And so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so got my new document here. I'm working at 550 by 400, 12 frames per second, which is the default of flash. And let's get zoomed into our normal little size here. Going to grab my paintbrush tool and get a decent fill color here. Um, I've changed my layer name, just simply calling it name here. Okay, and the way you change that is just double click right here and just type it in. So, all right, get that set. And I'm going to be paying attention to how I'm writing out my name. For instance, I uh, read that line out first and then did that. Okay, uh, let's undo that real quick and Command Z. Looks good. It's great. All right, Tony. Cool. Um, I'm going to want this to not last too long, so we're going to maybe not too much over four seconds or something like that. Uh, give myself a little wiggle room. I'm going to select frame 50, and then I'm going to enter a little frame here. Let's do F5 to add frames, and let's go ahead and lock this layer. Keep this out of trouble. I'm going to create another layer. Double click here. Call this mask. Okay. Now, what I want to do is grab my paintbrush tool again, I'm going to set my mask color. I'm going to use a gray. I like using gray. Uh, some of my colleagues like using bright garish colors, but I like using gray. So uh, what we're going to do now, I'm going to use a little trick. If you notice, the brush is just about large enough. I want to cheat a little bit. So I'm going to zoom out here, Command minus, and it's Control minus on PC. And if you notice, the brush size still stays the same kind of helps out once you get used to it doing that okay so the first frame the, the way the mask works is whatever it's touching or whatever it covers up so that's what's visible first thing first frame I don't want anything visible so I'm just gonna click here all right next I'm gonna enter a keyframe F6 okay then start drawing right on the T hit F6 again now, because I'm hitting F6, I can keep working and adding on to what I've already done. And let's do F6 again. F6 again. F6 again. F6. Okay. Now, uh, it's not bad. Let's so see my timing here. I'm just going to hit return real quick. Not bad. What I am going to do is not there there's nothing on this keyframe I am going to hit F6 again because I want there to be a space kind of a little bit of time between the T and the O like I had to take some time to move over to the O matter of fact let's give it two spots to F6 again okay now we'll start on the O okay draw there let's do F6 Draw again, F6, again, F6, and F6, okay, okay, I'm going to hit a blank one again, let's hit F6, and now, let me be careful on what I just said, blank, uh, not a blank keyframe, I'm just saying that I want there to be no extra movement in one of these frames, so let's hit F6 again, all right, now we're going to start on the end. F6 again, and I'm trying to draw this like it's not drawing all of the in the first time. F6, 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 F6. I'm going to stop saying that. F6. Okay, maybe one more time. Okay, so I'm going to keep on doing this here. And right at this point, I'm going to stop. And we're going to do a little trick. Let's grab my zoom tool. Click and drag this out. What I want to do 
is make sure that I'm not going to touch any of these outside areas ahead of time. So the way I'm going to do that is grab my stroke tool, kind of click here, click here. Now if you notice all of this, um, this is uh, snapping to this other thing, even though, even though it's on another layer. And the way that that's happening is I have snap to objects turned on, this little magnet guy there. Okay, so got that going. Now, let's grab my paint bucket tool, fill this in, selection tool, double click on the stroke only, delete the stroke. So press delete or backspace. Okay, at that point, I can come here, get to the corner of the shape, and pull this up. Okay, get to the corner of this shape, pull that up. Okay, not bad. Um, right on the edge here, if you notice, I've got it to do a little arc a little bit there. So pull that over. Okay, so I'm going to move down a bit, pull this out. Okay, pull this part out. Not bad. Okay, so I've gotten, it's kind of really loose here. And again, I don't really care about that, all that. It's going to, it'll still look right. So, but in this particular part, I wanted to make sure that I was being very technical and make sure the only part of that line comes over. Okay, that being said, let's go back to our normal size. Quick way is simply double click on your zoom tool. And next, I'm going to zoom out again. So command minus, control minus on PC. And let's grab my brush tool. And let's see, what was before that one? Then we went there. So hit F6 again. Let's go there. All right. And I'm going to give it um, a little more space. So I'm going to do a F6 without doing anything. Hit F6 again. Then go here. F6. F6. Okay. All right. Looks good. Now. Uh, we can test this out. Let's uh, command return. Let's control enter. Wow, that looks awesome. Actually, looks just very weird. So, so how do we make this look like it's being written? Let's close this out. Quick way to do this: I'm going to either control click or right click directly on this layer and tell it to do mask. Okay. By doing that, it sets this to a mask and sets the layer beneath it to masked with an ED. It also locks both of these. So you can actually see what's going to happen in the timeline inside your flash document without exporting. So I can just hit return or enter. Okay. Now let's test it out for real. Command return. Let's control enter on PC. So there you have it. And that is how to have a name masked out there. All right, so got that going. This has been Tony Ross for creativecow.net. And remember, keep it simple, keep it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea.